Welcome back to another quick exercise with CAD Jungle. In today's exercise, we're going to be modeling this object from this 2D drawing. Take your time, follow along, and let's get started. Let's create a new component. Select the top view. Make sure all dimensions are in millimeters. Let's create a sketch on a visible plane. Let's create a center diameter circle. Be sure to follow along the diagram, all dimensions are there. We're going to extrude this circle. After extrusion, select the front view. Create a sketch in a visible plane and let's finish the profile. Select the P key for project. Selection filter is going to be set to bodies. I'm going to grab the three point arc and make sure it intersects both sides. We want a tangent at the bottom, not the top. Tap the D key, select these two points, add dimensions. Add dimensions to this arc. Next, let's select the revolve command. Select the profile we just created. Select this outside axis here, or we can select the Z axis in the center. Operation should be set to cut. And that's the profile we're going for. Select the top view, create a sketch on this face. Select the offset command, select the outer edge, bring it in, add dimensions. Now with the extrude command, we're gonna let Fusion 360 do the math for us. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to add negative 60. So it'll cut inside and turn around and add 18. Let's rotate to the bottom. Create a sketch on the bottom face. Create a center diameter correction center rectangle. Add dimensions. We could tab two dimensions or we could just add one dimension and use the equal constraint. Let's extrude this object upward. Make it a negative 100. Pull the profile. Make sure the operation is set to join, not cut. Let's add some fillets to these four corners. Let's create a sketch on this face here. Select the offset command and select the outer edges. Bring it in a bit, make it negative 10. Select extrude command. Select the profile we just created. Extrude it inward, negative 20. Let's add a fillet for the inside. Select this face. Make that fillet nine millimeters. Once again, let's bring back the previous sketch. This sketch here. Select the extrude command. For starting point, we want it to be an offset. We're gonna offset it negative 35. Extent type is gonna be to object. Select the bottom. Turn off that previous sketch. Moving right along, let's add more fillets. Select this edge here and this inside face. Make it five millimeters. Select this inside face in here. Make it 14.
Now we want to select a tangent plane, hit the home key, select the front view, select this face here, and we have a tangent plane. Create a sketch on this tangent plane, and let's create the profile as follows. Select a two point rectangle, make the width 22 millimeters, and terminate it. Select a three point arc. Attach it to both sides at the bottom. And you should be good when you see the two tangent constraints. Now to verify that it took, let's pull it out. It did not take, so let's select it again, tangent constraint. Select the one side and it's set. All right. Select the horizontal vertical constraint. Select the center point. We want it to align with the center point of the sketch. Now this is going to be a little tricky because I want to measure this line to the tangent of this arc. And to do that, select the D key, select the arc, hold the shift button, and it'll send you to the center point when you hover over. Select that point, select the top, and let's make this 22 millimeters. And it's confined. Select the strew command. Select the profile we just created. I'm gonna show you a little trick. If I simply select this outer edge, it doesn't cut all the way through and it leaves a little bit of unfinished cutting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select again, two object. And now when I select this in five face, it cuts all the way through. It doesn't leave any edges. It's completed. And for the final piece, select the circular pattern. Object type should be set to features, select extrusion we just created, and the axis, just select this outside face. We want the quantity to be set to four. And if you'd like, you can select the entire object and add fillets. My selection's messed up, so I want basic window selection here. Select the object, fill it, be able to fill it all around a 0.5. And your project is complete. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick exercise. Stick around and I shall see you in the next up and coming video.